Hey, welcome back to the channel. I brought my uh, camera today, but I forgot my SD card. So the camera does me no good without an SD card. Um, I remembered spare batteries, but not, uh, not that. So we're gonna do this on the iPhone, which means uh, you'll just have to check in on the progress and uh, we'll see what we can do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do though. What we're gonna work on is um, we're gonna get these, uh, these extra braces in here that uh, keep this uh, trailing edge piece from pulling away. And on the top surface, these are the ones that the angle changed. Um, the angle changed because I had to sand them a lot for clearance purposes. And you can see here, this is uh, the ones that I've already pre-made. And in this package in my bag here somewhere, I've actually marked one, oh, there we go, with the new angle. So I'm gonna figure out what that angle is. I'm gonna get it set up over here on, oh, hey, this is new. And this is new because after 20 some years, I finally burnt up, I finally burnt up the old craftsman. Um, she started smoking, so yeah, that, was the, uh, that was the end of that life. So I just picked up a Ryobi. Uh, this will be this will be great for what I do. Um, no reason to uh, spend a bunch of money on that because I have plenty of airplane airplane parts to buy. So anyway, uh, so once I get the new angle figured out, what I'll be doing is I'll clamp uh, I'll clamp this to. Uh, to the table here at that angle and then I'll actually be able to to push this in to uh, push this in against the edge and get this new angle sanded in and that'll work out uh, great that'll get me set up to do that and yeah So for the uh, for the top side, um, actually, uh, this is the top side. Um, <laughs> I just did the what is the top of the wing, but for the bottom of the wing, um, not only did they uh, not only did I get uh, 45 degree angle on these, I actually um, put like a little bevel in them, um, a little circular bevel. So what I'm gonna do now is just take the uh, take the sander here, and I'll put a little uh, a little curve in these, and that gives it just a little additional clearance. So, um, and that seemed to uh, work out well on the other one. You can see here I've got uh, I've got all of these just sitting here. Um, have a little maybe a little bit of prep to do with the f just to make sure that the uh, there's no build up of epoxy there isn't a few places that I saw um, where I just need to relieve a little bit of epoxy right up in here so and so then I'll get uh, get these I want to get I want to get the other side ones prepared so that after that one sets I just flip this over and uh, and do the other side once I get these uh, epoxied in place I'll be able to use my saw here um, I'll be able to use my saw and come in here and also cut this at the same angle um, as these pieces here so and that will save me a lot of sanding um, that I had to do on the other wing so I'm glad I took those notes and so I can do it on this one um, save a little time wherever you can right all right, so I will get these prepared and we'll get those set aside and then we'll um, uh, we'll get these epoxied in place.
Okay, so I've got all, all of these ready to go. I have um, uh, my epoxy uh, mixed and ready to attach. And these are all these areas here. Uh, these are all cleaned out. Um, so uh, ready to attach. And one thing I one thing I do is I just make a uh, I make a little kind of a mark right here where the epoxy is going to go. Um, I just just a little light pencil mark so I can see where to put it since uh, since you know I put the epoxy in both locations, both on the part and uh, and on what I'm attaching it to. So yeah, so I'm going to get these epoxied in place and uh, got my clamps all laid out, ready to go. And that'll be great. All right, so I got uh, I got all that um, taken care of, all, all the things that I wanted to. I'm super happy about that. And actually, uh, my wife came along and uh, sealed the inside of the uh, leading edge part of the uh, aileron for me. The uh, I'll show you over here. The camera's over there. So weird. I want to look at myself instead of the camera. I need to when I'm using my phone. I need to look at the camera. So you can see the uh, the other leading edge pieces are still over here uh, drying for the leading edge of the aileron. Those are all cut to size and ready to go. And I just have a, a board with some uh, steel on it, just weighted down, and then a clamp to make sure it doesn't move. Um, and that's just holding those in place. So those will be ready. One of the other things I did today is... Uh, this is where my uh, uh, tubing for the uh, pedo will actually exit. On my left wing, I got all of my uh, gussets here um, installed that I wanted to. So all the way down the bottom, uh, had some extra epoxy left over, so I wanted to get that. And then uh, these are actually where the uh, pedo tube tubing will actually pass through um, those members and then curve up um, and then curve up here and go out right there and what I'm using is uh, I'm using uh, some of this uh, material here which is the uh, quarter inch nylon flow um, nylon flow tubing and uh, that works really well for that and so I was just test fitting that, making sure everything works out good, and it does. So, and then you can see I've got uh, I've got all of these um, clamped in place, um, and they're epoxied and clamped, and they're cut to the angle that I had to sand the other wing too, which is phenomenal. But I don't have to sand that. And when I flip the wing over, um, I've already got these all sanded, as you saw and with my little curve in them all ready to attach to the other side and also when i flip the wing over i'll i will come in here and add these little triangle pieces that go between um, this drag brace and the uh, bottom of the, the bottom of the rib um yeah so this is going great and at the same time when i flip the wing over again i will be working on uh the rest of the I'll be working on the rest of the fuel tank area just like the other wing um, I'll get the all those components put together and we'll be ready to ready to move forward with that so um, yeah and then here's the uh, inside of the uh, aileron leading edge all nice and shiny and so that, uh, that looks great and that's ready. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today, checking out the video. You know I do appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and that little bell notification thing off to the side so you don't miss any of these. And uh, hey, I'll catch you later.